Hello to our Techie friends in Sweden and hello to everyone. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I am Scrappy and this is Worth Web Scrapping. There we go! Welcome to World Web Scrapping. This is our next web scrapping tutorial using Python. Today we will talk about how we can download PDF files. So let's get started. So downloading a PDF file from any website is a bit different than scrapping any other kind of uh, data or say uh, downloading an image or video file for the matter. Because when we send a request using our request library, when we send uh, a get request and uh, when we write that content. So if we send the request like uh, this r requested dot get and we pass on the URL and then if we want to pass the content using that content method. So what happens that creates a string and there is a limit that how much data is a string can store. So if you are downloading large PDF files that uh, much data is a single string cannot store that much of data. So because of uh, the downloading PDFs in the same manner as downloading images will not work. So we cannot simply do that. So if we try to do that, what uh, will happen, let me show you here. So this is a PDF file that I'm trying to download. Uh, this is a URL of the file and I will import the request library and uh, I will send a get request to this uh, filing URL and I want to show you the content. I am applying the dot content method and I want to show you the content that I have got and uh, if we see that we will not get the desired content actually and this is what we get it's some word text that uh, we have got here in this is uh, this is not what we expected right we expected a pdf file this pdf file is actually of uh, 11 pages and we expected to see that result here but uh, we cannot see that because calling dot to get method simply on the pdf file does not work so to avoid this, what we have to do is uh, we have to pass one extra parameter that is uh, the stream and we have to set it true and uh, what this stream will do is um, that it will just download the response headers from the requested URL and it will keep the connection open. So after that, when once we have sent this uh, get request, what we can do is uh, on over our object, we can use dot iter content method and what this dot iter contain method will do, it uh, will convert this object into an iterable object like uh, a list. So like we can iterate over a list or a string or a dictionary for that matter. So what our iter contains will do, it will convert this object into an iterable object and then what we can do is we can define a chunk size. It's like size if we give it an iter content takes a parameter chunk size and this chunk size is uh, the amount of data that we want to download in one step. So it is a step. So how we want to download our data with uh, define here. So I am defining here that uh, the chunk side is uh, 1024 that means 1024 KB or 1 MB so uh, again what I'm doing is uh, I'm sending this uh, filing URL again here and I'm sending a get request to this uh, filing URL and setting stream is uh, equal to true so this will keep our connection open and then I'm writing it uh, this whatever data I am downloading using chunk size I'm writing it into a PDF file so I am with uh, open python 2.pdf wb so wb is a write back so what this statement will do it will create a python file into my work and data directory so the name of that python file will be python 2.pdf and I'm opening this file open as pdf so I'm opening this file now what I'm doing is for a chunk I'm writing a for loop and iterating over this object r.iterContent chunk size and defining 
1024kb. So, and then I'm writing the statement if a chunk PDF dot write. So, what's uh, simply this uh, statement will do? It will do is uh, that as long as we keep findings uh, is uh, this chunk size anything of uh, the size of less than the size. It will keep writing that much of data back into our PDF and we will get our complete PDF. So let me run this cell and here guys I have uh, this Python 2 PDF into my working directory. Now let us check out working directory and uh, this is our working directory and if uh, I will check this file here and here I have got this file so I will open this file and I will show you what PDF data we have. So mm, this is a book that I have downloaded it has 11 pages and it is a book on database management systems EBMS so this is how we can download a PDF so this is the way whenever you want to download a PDF this is a method you will have to follow whenever you want to download large size of data use chunk size use stream equal to uh, true and you use a chunk size so 1 MB is chunk size and you can use this chunk size it will not take a lot of time and uh, you can download any PDF very easily so that's uh, all for today my touchy friends if you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website leave your comments below and ask me any questions you have I will be very happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of uh, this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay touchy.